I want to show you this neat geometry question that I saw. Suppose you have two parallel lines. Okay, so these are parallel lines. And suppose you have a point between the lines that has a distance of 3 from one of the parallel lines and a distance of 7 from the other. And if you take any point on one of the lines, you could make a right tri sorry, you could make a rectangle. that touches both of the lines and has our point as one of its corners. And so what I want to do is minimize the area. Not sure why I underlined that. All right, so I want to minimize the area of this rectangle. So the question is find the minimum possible area of this rectangle. All right, so pause the question, try it on your own, and then come back if you want to see my solution. There's a number of ways we could do this. Okay, so the way I did it was I called this angle theta. So this angle here is pi over 2 minus theta. This is a right angle, and so this angle here is also theta. The area of our rectangle is equal to this hypotenuse times that hypotenuse. With a little bit of trigonometry, you could see that this hypotenuse is 3 over sine theta. And with a little bit of trigonometry, you could see that this hypotenuse is 7 over cosine theta. So we want to minimize this area. This can be combined to 21 over sine theta, cosine theta. Well, we know that sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta, cosine theta. So area, if we want to multiply this by 2, we have to multiply this by 2 as well is equal to 42 over sine of 2 theta. OK? And we want to minimize this. And this is minimized. OK, well, we also want to make sure that it's, it's positive. So I guess we'll take the absolute value. This is minimized when sine of 2 theta is as big as possible, right? Because 42 is a constant. So what's the biggest value that sine of 2 theta could be? Well, the biggest value sine of anything could be is 1. So if sine of 2 theta is 1, that gives us our area, our minimum area is 42. OK, you could have also done this with calculus. We could have taken the derivative of this function, set it equal to 0, and you would have found that theta um, our area is minimized when theta equals pi over 4, and we would get an area of 42. All right, it was a nice geometry question. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, I'll keep making these types of videos if you like them. All right, thanks for watching.